Now, Christmases are coming far too fast for some of us, actually. And if you've been racking your brains out trying to decide what to buy for the computer buff in your life, worry no more. We are here to help. John Coll has been looking at some of the choices. Now, John, what sort of things are in the shops this Christmas? And I'm not, of course, talking about rushing out spending thousands of pounds on computers. No, it's lots, the bits, isn't lots it? Lots of nice, cheap things, good okay. books, software. This is a really nice book, The First Computer Dictionary by Brian Samways. Uh, ideal, nicely illustrated, clear, simple. Ideal for, I would thought, seven, eight, nine, ten year old. 38 year olds, thank you. That's my Christmas <laughs> present. Actually, I'm not kidding. That's going to be very useful. It's nice. Yep. Another good book. I rather like this. Online handbook. Loads of information about databases you want to dial up if you're a real techie, as Mac would Lovely. say. Yeah, Mac, that's for you. Yep. <laughs> oh, Mind Prober. Now, actually, this is cheating, really, because this is the book that accompanies um, a program on the disc. I don't know right. if you can see the, the disc inside there. Uh, it's a program which is a sort of uh, personality test. It'll cause chaos in your family. I'm absolutely warning you. Computer asks you questions about somebody, you answer it, then the computer tells you what this person is like. Now, we fed Mac into this computer. <laughs> Do you know what it said? I hate On to think. this programme, rather. It declared him to be efficient, bossy, sophisticated and irresistible. That, uh... <laughs> well, no, absolutely it got it spot on, didn't Bar it, Mac? The last so, anyway, but this, seriously, it, it's fun only. Could Load ruin, of rubbish. Ruin I mean, Christmas. it's marvellous. Ruin your right. Christmas. Excellent book here, Robots. This is in the Osborne style, and it mm. really is a carpenter's guide to how to make a robot. Nice um, illustrations. Beautiful illustrations. What sort of age group, quickly? Oh, seven, way? eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve plus dads. <laughs> um, yeah. And there's software deep down here, listings and so on in the back. That's quite okay. fun. Okay, and, and I mean, you get a lot of book for your money in these two, don't you? The complete Commodore 64 is... and the complete Spectrum. Right. A lot of Real book. good techie stuff. Excellent. Now, how about um, annual subscription to your favourite? technical magazine. Good well, idea. that would be really nice. If someone's going to give me a subscription, I'll be very happy to accept a, a subscription to Byte. Mm -hmm. Good mag, every right. month, really nice. Now, the obvious uh, thing to buy for Christmas presents is software, but it is a bit of a minefield, isn't it, unless you know which computer you're buying for. Yes. Having said that, and you know, what can you recommend? OK, well, let's have a look at three really good selling ones at the moment. There's Elite mm -hmm. on the BBC Micro, and I must admit I got vaguely addicted to that. It's really rather nice. Mm -hmm. um, there's Night Law on the Spectrum yeah. and 3D chess on the QL and the graphics on that really are almost unbelievable. Yes, even from here actually you can see Quite they're something. nice and clear. Mm, lovely. Nice. And we've got a couple here. This is Chiller for the Commodore 64 which uh, is retailing 199 I gather, one of the cheapest. And Ghostbusters for the Commodore 64. That uh, comes out beautifully. It's the best seller of the Commodore 64 range and coincides with the launch of the uh, film today. That's very right. nice. But just look at this one. Now, what's so special about this one? Well, this one's for the BBC Micro, and I'm kidding you not. It's published by British Telecom, mm. and it is called The Hacker. And I, I guess that it must be a self-instructional course for people who... What, what, no, it can't um, be. Very peculiar logo on it. Well, anyway, <laughs> It yes. genuinely is British yes. Telecom. They, they, they deserve what they got, really, didn't they? <laughs> So OK, well, we, we, we've been talking about really the low end of the market, yes. for, but price-wise, that is. What about if we're going to lash out? Right, a couple what of more fancy? expensive items up here. Well, I'll tell you what I fancy, actually. Go on, then. A Simmons drum kit, but I can't afford it. Yes. Since I can't, for about £200, is it? £200. I would pounds. like the music synthesizer. Right. Listen to this. We've got the output of this Acorn product recorded. It's pretty good, isn't it? That That's plugs lovely. straight into a B micro mm -hmm. and is programmed on the BBC keyboard. Uh, £200, quite nice. Very nice for the music enthusiast, yes. presumably. Now, tell me about your weakness, because I know you have a particular thing that you... Uh... Well, no, before I was... I was going to ask you, actually, what well, I could buy you. Isn't that what, you generous? can buy me? Well, yes, all right, supposing I was very, that. very rich, for instance. No problems. Absolutely no problems. It's like real Christmas, actually. It's lovely. Well, I can take this one away with me. I've got one already, but I'll have another one. This is a penman plotter, mm -hmm. and it's not only a plotter, it's a sort of robot device, which we've seen on this uh, programme a number of times before, but it can drive around <coughs> and draw some really excellently detailed prints in three colours. Is that um, compatible with all It's compatible with or? the Beeb and Apple and IBM. Special offer till Christmas, under 200. Right. That is very, very nice. <laughs> under 200? Just. Well, right. you get a penny. Well, look, I'll tell you what, I can't quite run to that, so I'm going to give you for Christmas something yes. that I already have one of myself. Yes, I think It's I'll a take micro it. kit bag. It costs around £16. Seriously, I've carted my BBC B around into work and things in it, mm. and it is well designed, it's padded, it's nice and easy to hold. Yes. 16 Pockets pounds. Pockets the lot. Pockets Thank the lot. Thank you very much. I'll Happy take that out with me Christmas. if I can get away with it. Well, that's all we've got time for, actually. We'll have, these will have to wait till next year's Christmas. Uh, that's all we've got time for, in fact, this year, because our next programme is on Friday, January the 11th, 1985.
Well, I'm still admiring my creation here. You're but the if only anyone one who will. <laughs> <laughs> well, if anyone would like to employ me as a Christmas card designer, you can write to me at the BBC. Well, thank you very much for watching. Have a good Christmas. Happy New Year. But just before we go, I thought, Leslie, you deserve a little present for all that you've done for us. This is a three-dimensional, full-colour, super-silent oh. microcomputer. And you can also use it at a terminal.